Hello, friends. I'm so glad that we can be together, uh, not just with one another, but with the God who created us, the God who understands uh, the wideness of space and the God who understands uh, the smallest thing under the microscopes. And today that's uh, really where my thinking has been with the scientists and the researchers who are looking for um, understanding of the COVID-19 virus and um, then with that understanding to be able to provide treatments and vaccines and things like that. Um, God is the one behind all science. God is the one who created the world. And so with great faith and joy, I'm so glad that we can ask him today to make the necessary understandings evident to those who are searching for them and to uh, help them quickly come up with what's necessary. Um, Psalm 100 verses 3 to 5 say this. Know that the Lord is God. He made us and we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep he takes care of. Come through the gates to his temple, giving thanks to him. Enter his courtyards with songs of praise. Honor him and bless his name. The Lord is good. There is no end to his faithful love. We can trust him forever and ever. And it's good not only that God made us, but that he totally understands who we are, our strengths, our weaknesses, our limits, our capabilities. I take comfort from verses in uh, Psalm 103, verses 13 to 15, where it reminds us, the Lord is like a father to his children, tender and compassionate to those who fear him, for he knows how weak we are. He remembers we are only dust. Our days on earth are like grass, like wildflowers. We bloom and die. And so it's good that we can come to a great and mighty God, as frail and weak and vulnerable human beings, and know that who we are and what's going on in our lives today matters. So let's do that. Join me, will you? Let's pray together. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we are so grateful to know you today. We are grateful that you are God and you are in control. You made the earth. You made us. You created everything to operate in perfect balance. And it breaks your heart much more than our own as you see people you love suffer. When the evil one tries to steal, kill, and destroy the life that you intended for each of us, you stand with us to breathe new life into us, to support us with your love and kindness, and to remind us that no matter how difficult today is, we can still have life with you forever because of what Jesus has done for us. These are days, honestly, that remind us how fragile we are as human beings on this earth. We're here for just a few your ears, a few short years, and yet how precious we are to you. We ask today for your comfort and strength for both those who suffer and those who mourn. We ask for peace and settledness for children, for youth, for young families, and for all the generation, all the way through to the age, who are isolated at home or in care facilities. The needs of each person are unique. And you are able to help each one in a very personal way. And this is the care that we're asking for today. We pray also that people will recognize the love and care that you are offering. And that you'll help them to respond to that invitation and to receive all that you're making available to them. 
Lord, today we particularly want to bless the scientists and research people who are working hard to find both the treatment and a vaccine. We ask for insight for each one of them. We ask for recognition of factors that are working together at microscopic levels that lead to the necessary discoveries and for generous sharing of information with one another so help can come quickly for all of us. You are our creator. You are the one with all the scientific information we need and the generous heart to share it because you care for us. We want to bless manufacturers who are producing new machines like ventilators and protection equipment like masks and gowns for healthcare workers. We pray for those who work in warehouses, those who drive delivery trucks. Protect, Lord, each one of them as they go out into the community to perform these important tasks. Help them to be efficient and for all systems to work even better than imagined so these supplies get into the right hands quickly. Once again, Lord Jesus, in the middle of the awfulness of this pandemic, we come to you and we affirm that you are good, that you care for us, and that there's no end to your faithful love and that we can trust you forever and ever. Amen. So friends, let's uh, live one more day, one day at a time, one moment at a time as a familiar prayer that many of us pray um, and know that uh, God will give us the wisdom, the serenity, the courage, everything we need today.